What's up, YouTube? The shipment of water has come, so I just need to show y'all that I really do this. Let's go. Let's go. We actually got some quotes to do today. It's raining here in Mass. We were gonna do some leaf blowing and shit. We had a couple uh, spring cleanups, but uh, it's too wet right now. It, it, once you start blowing the uh, grass with the water on it, it actually like decolors the grass or some shit. Like I've done it before and it like turns the grass like yellow. Like you don't want to do that. You don't want to piss off customers like that. Hey, we got the Arians freaking um, snowblower. Anybody wants this, this shit's for sale. I bought it for like $1,800. I'll give it to you. Best offer wins, man. Trying to get at least $1,500 for it, minimum. Like I said before, I think I said on my Facebook story, it's like Christmas every couple days. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, boy. Keep it going. Nah, you know I'm trying to help you. Well, let's get it. And now we've entered a whole nother category with YouTube, bro. Ever since I've been editing, it takes me fucking like two hours to edit like a 10 minute video. That's why I'm thinking about doing one vlog per week. You know what I mean? Maybe a couple simple ones. Right now I'm three days a week, but one vlog a week should be surprised. Right, it's great, bro. YouTube, help me out. You support this channel? For this shit. That's it. Thanks right up. One time. I'll have to go up the main next week and show y'all how this works or some shit. I'm sure they still got snow in Maine, right? Definitely. Yeah. Bet. On New Hampshire, one of the mountains up there. Yeah, we're, we're, for real. We're, but now we're vlogging and shit, bro, we're going to be traveling, bro. That's I'm, it. I'm not, not bullshitting. I travel, you know I travel anyway. Yeah. It's like last year I was traveling with, uh, with the girl. This year I'm traveling with my, my camera, bro. That's it. I'm traveling with my camera, man, making it rain. Bro. That's, That's it. it. Get worldwide known, worldwide recognition. You know how we do? With that H2O. H2O. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yo, we gotta advertise this shit in Puerto Rico too. Yeah. Like, well, I meant to say Dominican. Oh, everywhere. Alright, well, let's sneak out the back way. Yo. I'm gonna shut. Yeah, come through here, bro. Yeah, we got bikes and shit. We're gonna. We gotta. Do you know how to fix bikes? Like, what kind of bikes? Like motorcycles? The, the bikes in the uh, garage, I sent, or the, in the basement, I showed you. Yeah, we'll, right? we'll work on them. We, right. you know, we got, we always, we fix a little bit of everything. Yeah. <laughs> we got the tools, we can fix it, right? Well, that's it. We them holler boys. I was just about to start telling Carlos, but I waited to be on camera with it. Uh, Massachusetts, people, People in northeastern states, even up north for that reason, I find that they're better off um, financially because of the weather. Some days it's really rainy and cloudy and you don't want to go outside, which sucks. But at the same time, it's better than being down south because you're more focused on getting to it, studying. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of schools are up here. This is just my theory, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this is just how it is. You know what I mean? Like, if you think of all the northern states, they got a lot more money than the southern states. Remember, once you go, the further down south you get, the more corrupt you get. It's just how it works. The sun makes you kind of crazy because you never want to study. You, you know what I mean? You just want to live life, which is fine, but it's not every day you want to do that. So here we want to do mulching. First things first, we're going to do a cleanup. And then we got to haul this off. But since we're in my neighborhood, I know where to dump the shit. You know what I mean? Put it in the back. Maybe a little trim out to the bushes. Get all the leaves out. Don't touch the bushes. Oh shit, I didn't know they had this back here. I've never been in this backyard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna dump all the stuff back here. All right. How do you say that in Spanish? Dump all the stuff back here. I'm gonna tirar toda la basura para allá. There you go. What he said. <laughs> this right here, I believe it's a... Uh, do the old uh, French leaf. Green Giant Arba mm. Little smell test. Um, you got one, two, three, four. You see they're starting to grow more here. I never suggest that customers grow it like that because there's more of a chance that it's going to die. You know what I mean? We have harsh winters in the winter time here and it, one harsh winter can just freeze that root ball, game over. 
root rot, a number of things can happen. It's better to get a size about this. But this is why customers do it, because this costs about, uh, depending if you get it on sale, like 50 to 100 bucks, 50 to 200 if you go to an expensive nursery. If you get this at Home Depot, it's less quality than at the nursery too. So say you spend $50 on this, versus you spend $1,000 or something like this. This size costs anywhere from like 500 to 1,000. I know that's a range, but that's seriously how it is. Who, who cultivated it is organic, blah, blah, blah. But I would rather my customers spend more money on one plant than try to do five at the same time. Because realistically, that plant's gonna take years to get to this size. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take years. Oh yeah, we'll get it done. The thing I need uh, help with is well, so for the mulching, I'm gonna show you how to do mulching because we do it like better than anybody else. You know yeah. I mean? So we need a one, two. So let's walk the yard one more time so I can look at the mulch. I'm already getting a good idea about this. This is called Pachysandra. These are Pachysandras from my poison ivy. See, we're a tree company, so I'm always Okay, so you want me to do, that's why I accept the spring cleanups, not because of the money. Like, yeah, we make a little bit of money, but uh, you won't be buying houses with a yard cleanup type crew. At least you need like five of them to be buying a house with that. You know what I mean? That's why anytime I come to a yard cleanup, I'm always looking up what trees need to get trimmed. got climbers on board. Um, so I know for a fact, we're gonna get a shot of this and that needs to get pulled off because that is gonna kill the tree. Those, for some reason, I don't know what it is, I can't really explain. Using the vines like this, they wanna kill the tree completely. Like very quickly too, it's kind of a trip. I'm gonna offer to trim this tree because it needs to be trimmed. It's an easy tree to trim. Give it a neighborly price. And then also I always look at the trees creeping onto the roof too to see if there's anything we can take care of while we're here. But uh, let's walk the yard one more time. So that the vine needs to get pulled off. Could use a quick trim on that one. Oh, funny story, man. Back in the day, so we used to play baseball over there. My yard is over there, right? We used to tell like a mythical story that smuck or smuck, it hit the ball so far that it went into the pond from my house. <laughs> it was just a funny story, man. I don't know who came up with it, but they're like, yeah, smuck or smuck, hit the ball so far. It went to so the far, pond. everybody was scared to come over here. Yeah. So, smuck or smuck, man, if you're watching this video, what up? <laughs> I'm gonna go like for yard cleanup since she's my neighbor. If she wasn't my neighbor, I would go like 300, but since she's my neighbor, I wanna go like 250 for the yard cleanup, you know what I mean? Uh, she'll go for that. And for the mulching, you're looking at, I always go off the hours. I don't know the price of the mulch right now. I have to Google it. I always give the customer the option to buy the mulch themselves because we don't have a dump truck. So I say, okay, do you usually buy the mulch yourself? How many yards do you usually get? Do you wanna get it or do you want me to get it? And then we'll assess from there. She wants the black mulch, six to eight yards of mulch, whatever the price that is. And then the price of labor, I always go off an hourly basis. So one gardener, you're looking at for this without a motor, you're looking at like 50 bucks an hour. That's what it was last year anyway. I don't know when inflation's, what everybody else is charging right now because of inflation. I'll have to ask my OG gardener who I used to work for up there in uh, Brookline, Massachusetts. I won't say his name because I know he wouldn't like that, but. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah so i go off that so off the labor side of things for just the mulching you're looking at so i'm gonna ask my cameraman he's gonna be the mulcher too so how many hours would you think this would take you to mulch, mulch edge and mulch a couple hours at least Probably, it's like a day job almost. yeah yeah so we're gonna go like 350 for that too yeah. you know what i mean 250 for the cleanup 350 for that so one day shot if we do this in one day shot with the mulch for the labor 250 plus the 350 is uh six 600 yeah 600 that's more than thank you guys for watching the video like comment share and subscribe it's gonna get better and better that was my first vlog ever so uh yeah stay tuned for more it's gonna be lit let's go